Arabic learning must be easy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Luay. Welcome to the second lecture of the language course on our channel, Academia Dimashok or Damas Academy. Here we go. What shall we do today? So, in this video, we'll learn about the following. Step number one is the instruction, where in each video of our course, I will provide a few different information about the language, so that you have a better overview of the interesting and effective events and stories with this language. In the second step, we will start with the second letter, and in the third step, as discussed in the last video, we will practice Tashkilat. And the last part of our lesson today is grammar. So, there used to be no points. That means that the Arab used to write text with letters but without dots. The language experts simplified the spelling more than a thousand years ago so that the other nations can read the text correctly, easily, and quickly, or learn the language better. Arabic is one of the Semitic languages, so one of the ancient languages. There is also who says that um, it's the oldest language in the world. Um, is a holy language for Muslims. Every Muslim can speak or read at least a little bit Arabic to pray. And Arabic is an official language in 25 countries. Our letter today is Ba. The Ba is written in such a way that it looks like a duck. There is also the explanatory video that clearly shows how to write the Ba. So, as we learned in the last video that the letters have different forms, the letter Ba has three forms, namely, as it's written at the beginning of the word, or in the middle of the word, or at the end of the word. Beginning of the word means when the letter is uh, the first letter in the word, middle means if there is at least uh, one letter before and after the letter and uh, at the end of the word means uh, when the letter is the last in the world. But there is an exception for the second form. Please write it down. It may be that the letters in general, not just but, are in the middle of the word and still don't have the second form. We will see this in the following examples. Now the video. Let's go on. Here we have two examples of the first form of the letter Ba and the beginning of the word. As simple examples, we have the name Baba, and this means father, and Bab, Bab means door. In the first example, Baba, Ba takes the first form at the beginning and that is regular. But the next Ba, where it's actually in the middle of the word and at the same time has the first form. Just like I said before, the reason behind it's the letter Aleph. There is a rule that says there are certain letters 
that are only partially connected to the other letters in the world, such as the letter Aleph. We see that Aleph is only connected to the previous letter, but not to the next, so partly. In this case, write the next letter either with the first form like Baba in this example, so that the second B takes the first form, or write the original form if there are no additional letters in the word. On the next slide, we have two examples of the second form of the letter B, namely Al-Bun, this means the coffee, and Al-Bab, Al-Bab means the door. On the next slide, we have two examples of the third form of B, namely Lub means core. And in the second example, Qalb. Qalb means heart. That was all about the second letter, B. And finally, we come to the grammatical part. Today, we look at what definite and indefinite articles there are in Arabic. In Arabic, we can say that it's the same as in English. So there is only one specific article, it's called al tarif al tarif So that uh, the article consists of two letters, alif and lam. You already know alif from the uh, previous lesson. We will learn step by step all letters, so no rush. So to be clear, always use L as the only article if it's definite. If not, so indefinite article where there is two, either A or N. In Arabic, there is no article in this case. For example, you want to say a tree. In Arabic, then say tree directly. Finally, we have two examples here of the definite and indefinite articles. For example, a core is lub. Lub. When you say the core, then you add l to the word al-lub. Al-lub. In the second example, an orange, Burtukala, there is no article, no indefinite article, and the orange, Al Burtukala, Al Burtukala. That's it for this lecture. To practice writing the letter, I have attached a PDF file in the info box below. You can print it out and then take your time to practice writing with it. I have also prepared a small quiz for you. And finally, in a third document, I summarized the content of the video for you. I hope that the lesson was simple and understandable for you. So, um, good luck and see you next time. Ciao.